The Jonski is a YouTube channel run by and run for people over the age of 13. People under the age of 13 should click off of this video right now or watch with a parent or guardian. Viewer discretion is advised. You don't scare me! Ah! Milt is freaking today, Militiaman. My name is King Prime and welcome back to another video here on the YouTube channel. Today, we're actually going to be taking a look at something just a bit different than what we're usually used to looking at, whether that be Halo or whether that be Star Wars. Today, we actually have something brand new. We've never done a figure or a review or even talked about this franchise here on the channel, but I'm happy to introduce it because honestly, in my opinion, it's a little underdone. Today, we are going to be taking a look at a Fortnite action figure. Uh, if any of you don't know, I am a fan of Fortnite. I, I really like the lore of uh, our, our dear fun Battle Royale game. It's interesting. There's not a lot of, of lore really in, in the game, but the speculation and what snippets we do have is actually really interesting. And one of my favorite characters and a lot of other people's favorite characters is Midas. And this is the Jazzwares uh, Fortnite Midas Rex action figure, which is basically, I kid you not, Midas with his Midas Rex armor, which is like the suit up uh, figure. I've always, for as long as I've lived, have absolutely loved armor on action figures, whether that be suit up Batman or suit up Iron Man or, or Hot Toys figures where you get to put armor and specific pieces of clothes onto an action figure body. I've always loved the concept. When I saw this figure on the shelf at my local Target, I knew for a fact I had to pick it up. Not only because I do like Fortnite, but I also, you know, like this idea of action figure. So taking a quick look at the packaging real quick, let me slide him out again and then put the flap closed. We have a very nice blacked out box here with a nice foil on the Master Grade Series logo. This is gonna be like the higher end figures that are released in this Jazzwares Fortnite line. This one ran me uh, like 23 bucks, whereas a normal Fortnite figure, say like Atlantean fish stick here, I got him at GameStop for like 10 bucks. So Midas here cost me about 23. This is probably because it comes with about two figures, but everything is very nice. On the left here, we have Midas Rex, which has, you know, a picture of Midas with his helmet off and the armor, as well as a sticker here of the full armored look that comes in this series. It does 13 pieces because there's, guess what, 13 pieces. On the back of the box, however, we have an image of the in-game model for Midas Rex, as well as some uh, trades up here, the Epic Games and the Fortnite logo. The same Master Grade series logo done in nice foil, as well as Midas Rex, and the two other figures now available in the Master Grade series line, with that being Oro and Zero. But that's basically it for the packaging. I usually take all my figures out of the packaging before I actually start filming the review, but for this one, I knew because this packaging is so nice, I just needed to take a look at it in the packaging before I actually open it up and get my first impressions of the figures. So you guys are basically going to be taking a look at this with me as I open it up and play around with it. That being said, freeze frame. Dang, the origin has no ass. Freeze frame, unfreeze, and here is the contents of the box all laid out. Real quick, let me just move all of this aside for a second so we can take a look at Midas himself. Now, as far as I am aware, I, I don't actually own the other version of this figure, the solid gold version or the version that came with the vault that also came in the two back with jewels, uh, which was just this figure. The exact same one, I believe, in, in the same deco, at least. I believe this is the same one. It's extremely detailed. It has the golden touch effect going all the way up to the middle of his forearm, as well as all of his tattoos on his arms and his neck going all the way around, even to underneath his head there, as you can see. Uh, the one thing I really don't like about this figure, however, is... The accessories that he comes with, he has the two golden revolvers and a, a row of three flashbangs strapped to his waist. And uh, they kind of, uh, well, let me raise his arms real quick and I'll just show you. And I don't break his arm first, which I brought, I tore it off, but it didn't break it. But I still proved my point. Here is the holstered revolver. These things fall out and now, of course, it's uh, 
proving me wrong by not doing it. But these things fall out a little bit too easy for my taste. In fact, I just prefer to leave them off because they fall off so easy. This is a faithful representation of how he looks in the game, his, his in-game Chapter 2 Season 2 model. Uh, he looks great in my opinion. I think everything about him looks awesome. His head sculpt is about as accurate as you'd expect a Jazzwares head sculpt to be. He has his yeah. golden eyes there, I'm sure, and the golden curse scratch that all of the cursed characters have on their eyes. As well as a nice harness for his two pistols, which would be pegged in right under there in the square pegs. The suit continues all the way down to his pants, where he has a magazine pouch unpainted but sculpted in. As well as some galoshes on and some black socks and some uh, some floods, really. These are real short uh, cuffed pants. But this is a very nice looking figure. Real quick for a size comparison, let me bring in the scientist. Who is one of the seven. Scientist has a few centimeters on him. As well as the paradigm. Right there. Another one of the seven. And for our final comparison. I bet you can already guess who I am bringing in next. Here we have the visitor. Who is another one of the seven. Let me just zoom out a little bit. So you can really get a look on how tall they are next to each other. Not a bad shot at all. Please frame. Freeze frame on freeze. Let me just readjust the camera real quick, get everything back into focus, and push everything back just a wee bit so you can actually see all the parts. So here next to Midas, we have the Midas Rex armor, which of course was available in the last laugh pack that came with Poison Ivy and the Joker. This is a suit constructed by, I presume, Midas's daughter, Jules, to be able to hide the golden touch, and I presume this because of the holsters that are actually included on the legs of the armor they as you can see are not golden and still are able to be wielded well not really but like in the lore they are whereas the pistols that our dear friend Midas has on his vest are golden so if he's wielded these pistols before I absolutely know that they are the golden touch would not have affected them meaning that this suit not being gold uh, stops the golden touch which is an awesome bit of lore that goes unspoken but that is evident if you read into it enough which i do so as i stated before i really do like these armor up figures they are absolutely awesome i i was in love with them as a kid i'm still in love with them i love suiting up action figures to become other action figures but this figure is really more of a case of what we in the transformers community call parts forming and i'll tell you the reason why with Midas here, we don't actually put these arm pieces onto his arms. We just take out his arm and put the new arm in. And then there you go. There you have Midas wielding the Kingmaker's harvesting tools. That's just about it. Which is unfortunate. It would be really cool to see Midas actually be able to put a piece of armor on his arms and on his legs and all that stuff. Considering, actually, that these thigh pieces actually are removable and you do have the exact same Midas thigh under there. Meaning that this was sculpted on top of his, his mold, but it was, it's just been differentiated to avoid confusion. All that being said, though, it doesn't take away from this being a really fun set. You still have the Midas Rex armor and all the stuff it comes with. And I will show you now how to actually put that on and all you really need to do is turn Midas into a potato real quick you take off his arms I'm sorry for any children that I'm scarring right now with this footage and then you take off his legs and then you split him in half so you mutilate Midas real quick which is a fun thing to say and then you just start sliding on pieces so you slide the loincloth right over his lower torso and then reattach it here then you grab his two legs and you slide them on i'd actually advise taking off this thigh piece because it slides around a lot you slide them on and push them onto the ball joints until you hear that pop and then you can of course just slide this thigh armor right back on and it will 
not really snap, but it'll make a sound knowing to let you know that it is attached. You do the exact same thing on the other side. I'm going to see if I can try to get it on with this thigh piece, which is proving difficult, so I'm going to not do that. And then you can just put that right back on. Then for the chest, it, it gets a little tricky. Uh, you actually have to attach this, I, I just call it a straight jacket really, over his torso and line up the armholes so that the holes for the arms line up with the holes on the vest. As you can see there, I did it on one side and I just kind of finagle it with it until I get it on the other. Until you have both of the pegs showing through the holes. And then you simply just attach these pieces behind. And in theory, it'll stay, but it really won't. And I'll tell you exactly why. You need to actually put these arms into the holes in order to get it to stay. So you're just going to want to straighten out that peg and attach it into the hole. And it will you'll feel this you'll feel like a little pop in there. You won't hear anything, but you'll feel it, I promise, when this arm goes in. And as you can see, there's articulation there. You can move it. It's attached. Same thing goes on the other side. You just shove this in and it should stay. You can just pop that right in and you have that. Also, you're going to want to put the back bling right in that little hole in the back there. It's going to be a little hard to line up at first, but if you just slide it into the peg and then finagle it in there, just wiggle it around a bit, little bit, it should eventually go into the hole created in Midas' back, and it will stay there. And then you just kind of have to wiggle Midas around until you get him to stay. The last piece, of course, being the Midas Rex helmet, which just goes over his head. This is supposed to go farther down, but because of the way this chest piece is sort of soft rubber, it doesn't, as you can see, there's a seam line in the back where this is supposed to come together right all, I mean like all the way down, I'll take out the back bling so you can see it even better, all the way down the back, this is supposed to connect together, it just doesn't, it's soft plastic, it won't do anything that you want it to. In fact, even without putting this armor on, this helmet doesn't really stay on Midas's head, and you can't really get his eyes to line up through the holes either. You're just kind of getting Midas's forehead out of those two holes. But it still works to make the figure look complete, at least with the image of Midas Rex. So there is the figure all suited up, and I will get a nice zoom in of Midas Rex. Right there, he does look absolutely fantastic, I won't lie. The Master Grade series does make these previously cheap kid figures into something that adult collectors can admire. Not to mention all the small details that you get on the harvesting tools, like that really nice bronze shiny paint that's put in there, and the dual tone holster with the metal revolver and the wood handle on it. It just looks great. Zooming in here, though, you do get sort of a uh, faux arc reactor right there with the Midas crest going around it. On the back, again, you have the Midas crest on his cape. As I stated earlier, the holsters that are on his thigh pieces and the helmet, which looks absolutely menacing. So with this being armor, of course, you don't actually need to put this all on Midas. I'm not going to lie. You can put this on any figure you want to, as so long as it can come apart easily. To prove a point, freeze frame. Doctor, are you sure this will work? <laughs> I have no idea. Freeze frame, unfreeze. Now, you might not think that anything has changed, but I assure you, something has changed. I have since shipped Midas out of his bronze cocoon and put another figure in here. Uh, you won't believe who it is, but uh, it's Jonesy. It's it's Agent Jones. It's, it's our, our good friend, our favorite looper. Uh, he's now sitting pretty in the uh, Midas Rex armor while Midas watches from the sidelines uh this pretty much any figure can go inside of here so long as they have the correctly sized 
ball joints. The size of the Agent Jones ball joint, whereas, say, a henchman will have a more rounded peg. So, so long, as long as they have this sort of, like, half mushroom peg, you'll be golden, no pun intended. But you just need to make sure that they have that correctly sized peg so that you can actually put the arms in. So technically, you can have another character inside of Midas' armor and just have Midas on the side. It just depends on the size of the ball peg inside of their arm. Now, as for the articulation of this figure, this is just standard Fortnite action figure articulation. You have a sort of ball joint at the head, or as well as a hinge joint at the neck. So you can look up, you can look down, you can get the arm all the way out. It's on a ball joint, as you can see right there. I just popped his arm out unintentionally. And then I just launched his revolver across the uh, galaxy. You have a full 360 range of motion there, as well as a bend at the elbow, and then an in and out joint at the wrist, which can also swivel. You also have a rotation at the uh, elbow as well. You have a ball joint at the waist, as well as a hip swivel. You have the ball jointed hips, mind the angle here, minus, as well as an upper thigh cut. You also have a double jointed knee bend, as well as a very good ankle hinge, and an ankle pivot. So overall, very good articulation for these regular Fortnite action figures, and Midas is no exception. His armor, on the other hand, well, that gets a little bit tricky. I'll just bring Jones and the armor in here for a quick second while I demonstrate the articulation. The head is severely limited. You can only get him to look up. You can't get him to look down in this armor. You can only get about that far out with arms the shoulder plating is actually a separate rubbery piece. It's not separate, but it's loose. So you can get a little bit more articulation, but not that much. Same articulation at the elbow, though. Just one click of a ratchet hinge there, as well as a very limited swivel. And then in and out at the wrist, which can also swivel. You get absolutely nothing at the waist now because it's all been covered up. But you technically get the swivel at the hips as well as a very limited ball joint at the hip. You do have the swivel at the thigh in there. It's just, also, as I said, very limited. Still do have that double jointed knee though, although the thigh pan will slide out of the way every time you do it. The very good ankle articulation, the hinge, and the ankle pivot. So overall, good articulation for, for this figure, although it's extremely limited. It's not as good as, say, an unarmored figure or a base Fortnite figure that would come in, say, a solo mode pack. But the armor is what you're buying. You're not here buying this for Midas, I presume, although this is a very good figure, not, you know, nothing wrong with it at all. You're buying this for the armor, and the armor can go on pretty much any figure, so long as, like I said earlier, it has those correct pegs. It's beautiful looking i'm not gonna lie just the possibility on it's lacking and it is really fidgety i'm not gonna lie but if you have this all done up and well freeze frame stop struggling oh you the pain freeze frame on freeze you can get a very awesome looking action figure as well as a free midas figure included with his midas rex armor set Overall, I do think that this set is worth it, even though the Midas figure has its problems with the uh, the golden accessories, and the Midas Rex armor itself does have its flaws with being kind of clunky and, and not really that thoroughly engineered. I'm sure they could have figured out a way to at least have this be two pieces so that you could get that nice waist articulation here, but I digress. I think it's still pretty awesome and if you can stomach the 23 dollar price tag i would highly recommend buying this set just because it's super cool anyway my friends if you like midas rex if you like midas if you like the ghost or the shadow if you like any of the fortnite figures make sure you share this video with all your friends make sure you share it with your facebook groups if you're part of any make sure you like comment subscribe and as always my friends peace